ल बनो मैं मिकोते जाते हैं सम आई यू फीलिंग सिटाई वहाँ से हम लोग स्पेशल मंच आज को आज वही ना हमें टूर बारी के स्पेशल गेस्ट होने से हुआ साथ ही वहाँ को कॉमेडियन कैरेक्टर साइड होने से वहाँ से हम लोग गोलकुश के राजा उगास पा अब से हमी यो से किधर गाड़ी हो यात्रा तीन जाना किधर Welcome back to Nepali Mama's Vlog. And today we have a short trip. So since we are two days off from work, so we have decided to go on a short trip to Lanchester. So we have the first trip to Lanchester Distillery. We have a wine custard. So come along, I will show you. It was built in, back when it was built in 1930. Mm. So it was pretty old. But back then, planes were a lot smaller and yeah. they took a lot less people. So back then, that meant that you didn't need a waiting lounge for 500 people. So by having a, a space like this, we could have people come through and then go into their flights as they needed to at the mm. time because flights just departed all the time. Um, so we've been going since 1930 and this space has been getting used. Yeah. It's been a distillery for the last 10 years. So uh, that, that's back in 54 when the Queen visited. Um, so she was a lot younger then. <laughs> and uh, Philip looked a lot more alive than what he does now. <laughs> and uh, that's our building in the background looking a lot newer than what she does now as well. The so, building still looks same. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. Not too much stuff changes in Tassie. You'll see as you go around to various towns that some buildings look pretty new but still. <laughs> You should be rock seal, hey? So this is the first building ever built for any type of aeroplane transportation in Tasmania back in 1930, like I said. Uh, it's pretty old, uh, but we don't need to jazz it up. It has everything that we need to make those images. It was built back in 1930 along with the plane. This engine they used in World War II in tanks for the Allies as well. That's quite some issue. It was built by the Havre, which is one of the biggest uh, aeroplane companies in the world now. But that was the fourth plane they ever built. Fourth? Yeah. Back in 1930 when they first got started. It was built in the island and that engine went in that little blue plane. She doesn't need the engine. To make good whiskey, you need good water. Water. So yeah, so all our water is going to go to the south. <laughs>
the big silver tanks. When we put them in there, we add yeast to it, and the yeast goes into that water and it eats all the sugar. And when it eats the sugar, it creates alcohol. And that's like the first bit of making beer. Right? And we then brew it in those tanks for seven days. Uh, it sits there, the yeast eats away, it smells really fragranty, really, really like a, you know, Vegemite. Yeah. You know, that on the nose, really yeasty smell. After seven days, you've got yourself like a ghetto beer. So this is our type of beer that we use to make a whiskey. So we go into our two stills, those big copper looking things. So in there, in effect, they're in effect like giant boil our beer. And when we boil it, it then turns into a vapor. So it goes up, it turns into like a mist. And as it goes up, it touches the copper and it gets flavors out of the copper and flavor from the beer goes into the copper. So they swap and interact. And that way, as that's happening, the vapor becomes more complex and it gets all these unique flavors to it. And then it'll go through the fill. It takes nine hours to get all the way through. And then it'll come out. But when you start it as a beer, at the end when it comes out, it comes out as a spirit, like a clear liquid. It's recondensed back to the pure form. And when it comes out the first one, it's a bit rough. You don't want to drink that yet. If you drink it, it'll probably make it go blind. It's a bit rough. That's why you have the second little still, because we're going to redistill it again to purify it to get to the good stuff. The stuff that's then good to put in the barrel. So the liquid that we put into barrel when it comes out of the still, it's clear, it's highly alcoholic, right? but it's got its own flavor characteristic from going in the copper and from the beer, everything. It's the good building blocks for whiskey. I'll get you. Right? But this is the building blocks for whiskey. So this is going to set us up to get the good stuff at the end. So unless you make good stuff in the middle, you'll never get good stuff at the end. Is the best way to put it. So you've got to put a lot of effort into making good stuff now. So in 10 years from now, you get good whiskey too. It's all about waiting. So you'll find that you give it a smell. I wouldn't suggest drinking it. It'll put you over the legal limit, driving limit straight away. It's then going to work with the wood for years. And when it works with the wood, it'll lose alcohol percentage. Yeah, so it'll come back to what you're used to drinking. Yeah, but then as it's working with the wood, like every every year, you know when it gets hot, you know you only wear you want to wear shorts or something. You, know, you want to cool down. Right? Same with the wood. The wood pores open up to breathe. Yeah, and then our whiskey goes into the wood. Yeah, and then when it gets cold, the wood pores pull shut and they push our whiskey out. And then when it's doing that, it's grabbing the flavors that are in the wood and pulling them into the liquid. Yeah, and all our barrels that are there have all held different flavors. Maybe some of those barrels used to hold bourbon, some of them used to hold port, some used to hold sherry. All manner of different things from all over the world. We want barrels that have held things before because we want those flavors from what was in there previously to come into our liquid. So that's what, together with the wood, creates that flavor of whiskey. Our whiskey is all made here, all single malt whiskey from Launceston Distillery. First one we'll try, it's on Launceston Distillery single malt, bourbon craft machine. Everything in this bottle was aged in old bourbon barrels. Okay, so try some of this. Good liver. You're strong, huh? It's a bit strong for you? Yeah. Yeah? 46%. About <laughs> It's good taste only for a great time. Yeah, different flavor profile. Different than the beer. So exactly, for a great Exactly the same ABV, and it all came from the same stills. Yeah. It's just the barrels that were different between the two to change the flavor. And then you see how different wood can affect different flavor. And then the, the last one we'll try, this one, 
তিনটা মধ্যে রয়েছে মালা মিঠা লাইনা ইয়ে তো অলি জলেকো জলেকো জস্তেই But you see, they're all made in the one place, they're all put in different barrels, and then from that, that's how you get all those different flavors. So it's all the same liquid that comes off there, you just show how different ways you treat it. Um, get a, your uh, whiskey go... বিস্তারি রিসি দিয়ে আবার আমি যাদেছু অর্ক সেকেন্ড ডেস্টিনেশন আমি কথা যাদেছ হেরতে গু হলা হজরলে ম আবি ব্যাক উইথ ম ভিডিওস সো আজ মেয়ে ভিডিও হেরদিনু থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ এন্ড প্লিজ কিপ ওয়াচিং ফর ম ফান্স ম ভিডিওস